uh, uh, uh. Welcome everybody back to Zelda Bob Squad. Those I am your man, because we have another game before today. We are playing Harvest Moon 64. And continuing on the Legend of Frost, how I became me, and how I got to where I am, and all that fun shit, the way we go. Now, real quick. Ah. Here we go. Fantastic stuff. So, whoops. Damn, well, I can't wait for the day when I can put this away. <laughs> <laughs> It'll happen sometime soon. I'm gonna catch that fucking power berry. It's eluded me for almost a year and a half now. I need to get that shit. I really do. It's whooping my ass. I'm gonna get it. Mark my words. Um, so, yeah. Now, uh, something else stupid about Waste Industry slash GFL is um, I, ha I got injured on the job one day. And... Um, I know right now I'm, I'm focusing on, on a lot of the negative aspects of the of the job, but I'm going to be turning back into some positives real soon. Uh, I, I just wanted to get this out there about how Waste Industry slash GFL is a horrible company, and this is just my opinion. And um, if uh, you know, if, if I know not all of Waste Industries and all of uh, GFL, I know they're not all bad, but this particular branch was horseshit. So you know, there's that. Um, but if you're in, like, the Jacksonville, North Carolina area and you're watching this, I would highly suggest switching to, like, 910 or something like that, because they're fantastic, I hear. Um, but anyway, um, uh, I, I once got injured on the job, and, um, I was, uh, on the, I was on the Marine base, because we had a guard, we, I think we had a contract with them, I'm not sure, um... But I hated being, I hated working garbage on the military base. It was like a fucking punishment. Because you have to obey, like, all the strict-ass rules. Like, no smoking on the back of the truck, you know. You gotta be wearing eye protection at all times and all this important shit, yes. But at the end of, at the, end of the day, it's fucking stupid. You're just, you're making our day more, wor at, you know, a lot worse than it has to be. Knock it off. You know, it's bad enough we're playing in other people's garbage all day, getting splashed in the face by mystery fluid. It's totally fine. Just let us do it our way, for God's sakes. As long as we're safe about it, who gives a shit if we're wearing eye protection? That's why we have eye insurance. Yes, there is a vision insurance on their plan. It was amazing. Um, I never had to use it, but that's not the point. On one day, this one day, I got hurt. Um, uh, I was on the, the Marine base, and um, I, w I was holding a beer bottle in my hand because that's what came out of the garbage can and um I know because I was trying to move shit out of the way so I was holding on to it so it didn't drop outside and break on the ground <laughs> really wish I would have just let that shit go in hindsight but then I noticed there's a spider on my arm for those that don't know uh, maybe I've talked about it I don't know I've talked about a lot of shit during this run we're on episode like 97 I think so getting close to that big 100 um, um, I'm afraid of spiders, and, um, yeah, it's really bad. Well, it's, it's gotten a lot better. Like, I've really calmed down about it, you know, not gonna lie, weed helps, but, you know, it definitely calms your shit, but, um, maybe that's how, I don't know, I don't know. So, so what are you gonna do now, just go find Gray and go get, go get a flower and give it to Gray? Flowers don't grow anymore, bro. There's nothing I can give them but my friendship. <laughs> I mean, it's the truth, unless I give him a mushroom, and I don't know if he likes that shit. We'll try, though. I don't know what to, I don't know, dude. I don't know. Leave me alone. Um, I'm talking about stuff right now. Shut up. So, oh, uh, yeah, so, like, I didn't, you know, I, I'm better about spiders now, but at the time, I was still very petrified of them. So I, you know, moved my arm in a forceful manner as if to, I'll give this to my wife, she likes this shit. So I, I, moved, I jerked my arm in like a jerking motion as to get the spider off of my arm, because I didn't want it there anymore, and um, naturally so. So um, my arm accidentally, uh, still holding that beer bottle, uh, broke against the side of the, in, you know, the side of the inside of the truck, um, which lodged that beer bottle which is now broken 
into my left index finger. And it is bleeding. And it is bleeding bad. Like, very, very bad. Like, it's pouring out of my finger. Like, I got a problem here. Because even the drive, because, you know, I saw Bojack. I feel offended, but I'll admit him. What? Here, do you like... Okay, good. See ya. Alright, marry your what? Marry Papiri, please. Like, let this be as perfect as a run as I could possibly make it. Because I didn't realize that the fucking vineyard was, like, the first year thing. Although, you could... No, no, I know what you're thinking. I could go back and do it and be like, Hey, everybody, here's what it looks like, but it wouldn't be the same. Why are you watering the pier? I'm sorry. But anyway, as I was saying about the injury itself, so my finger is noticeably bleeding and the driver comes out. And, you know, my, the index finger of my left glove is now noticeably dripping red from inside the glove. And the driver looks at me and goes, holy shit, John, did you cut yourself? And I'm like, yeah, yeah, I did. And, like, I take my glove off and it is just pouring. Like, um, actually... Can, can we see it? Can we see it? Yes, yes, this little bump right here. My index finger, that's, that's, where, that's where it is. Matter of fact, there. I'll make it a little more obvious for you guys. All right, so. Okay, obviously you're really not gonna, but obviously y'all notice there's a very noticeable difference in right here and right here, <laughs> there's a very noticeable bump. That's where the glass is. There are, in fact, two shards of glass in that finger. Now, here's the problem. Let me turn the light off really quick. So, that day, obviously, you know, uh, you know, we go to the, we go to one of the marine <coughs> gas stations on base, and I buy some band aids. I wrap it up. I clean it off the best I can. Um, the only problem is, like, my finger is throbbing naturally and um i can't really bend it because it is very very swollen and thus likely very most or most likely very infected so like an entire you know my supervisor finds out about it the next day um he's like so now you need to give us a statement on why you didn't want to go to the hospital yesterday so you know i tell him i'm like hey it's just a cut on my finger it's totally fine the bleeding stopped i cleaned it out i'm a team player you know i'm a heart i'm a go-getter i'm not gonna go home because of an accident blah 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 and all that bullshit so literally the day after that is when i had to write all that and then that work day every time i even slightly moved my finger or hit my finger against something ever so gently it caused the most immense pain possible which what the hell? Hey, congratulations on your victory. I've come to celebrate. Let's have a drink. Okay. Good, that's how a man should act. Afterward, everybody will come. Wow, so if I would have said no, I'm not a man? Harvest Moon. Harvest Moon, you, you sneaky feckers. Ooh. The salt and the sauce coming off of you guys. Whoo. My goodness gracious. So anyway, anytime I move my finger, every time I slightly hit my finger, like it is just so, so painful. So I eventually, you know, tell my, you know, my manager, my supervisor, I'm like, dude, I'm about to bail. Like, I can't do this. Like, I might have to go to a hospital. Like, there's something clearly wrong with my finger. So he's like, well, let me know because then I'll have to take you to the hospital and da 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 And they're like, okay, that's great, fantastic. I don't care about you. Like, here's the thing, I care about me. So, screw what you want. Like, this is this is about me and my finger, damn you. So, okay, everything's going on clockwork with these sheep. That's fantastic. Um, so, like, um, he goes, well, let me know if you want to, in fact, go to the hospital because then we're going to have to, you know, your driver's going to have to drop you off. I'm going to have to come pick you up and then we're both going to have to go to the hospital. You know, we're both going to have to go to a... Uh, what was it, a company doctor, that big pile of bullshit, as soon as I heard those two words next to each other, 
company and doctor, I knew right then and there I was in trouble. I knew right then and there I was not going to get set up squarely. And I, spoiler alert, I didn't. Because I eventually got to the point where it's like, yeah, dude, I tap. Like, I can't do this anymore. My finger is seriously hurting. Like, I need to get this looked at now. I should have gotten this looked at immediately after it happened. But I did the whole pride and powerful thing where it's like, no, dude, I'm a man. Da -da 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 -da. I'm a good guy. I can do what I want and shit. And nothing can stop me. And do do do. So, I get dropped off. My manager picks me up. We both go like an hour and a half out of our way to go to this company doctor. And curio curiously enough, this guy, who I swear to God got his medical license from a box of Lucky Charms, or Tricks, a box with a lot of very bright and mixed colors, so, because this guy clearly did not go to fucking school, because the number one thing you do in this scenario is what? Take a fucking x-ray of it, to make sure there's nothing in there, because you hear of a broken beer bottle cutting your finger, Guess what? The likelihood of a small piece of it breaking off and getting lodged into your finger or wherever you got shanked is quite the possibility. So what's the number one thing you do? You take an x-ray. What's the number one thing this dipshit didn't order? An x-ray. So it's like, I'm already getting so many feelings of incompetence towards this doctor. Like, I'm not happy about it. And uh, we're at this place for like over an hour and a half, building on two hours. And, um, he's like, and, you know, before he even came back with, with his, with his theory of what's going on, my manager looked at me and goes, now, John, if they want to offer you any pain medications or anything like that, you have to say no, because we're not going to pay that. We're not going to pay for that. Like workman's comp will not float that. And it's like, oh my God. So if these guys want to prescribe me something that you guys don't feel is necessary, you are just going to choose not to pay for it, even though this was an injury that was sustained on the clock. So if they want to offer me anything, I have to turn it down. Other than any, any you know, antibiotics they want to prescribe me or any anti-inflammatories, I could say yes to either of those. But anything else, I have to say no to. I have to turn down because the company will not pay for it. It's like, are you fucking kidding me? Like, here's the thing. If I got hurt, if this happened off the clock, I could totally understand them not wanting to float the bill for it. Because why should you? Jesus! Why should you have to? You shouldn't have to. Now, here's the thing. I'm going to pause this, and I'm going to go ahead and knock this shit out. I'll be right back. Whoops. Okay, so I gotta remember to make this like eight minutes long. My bad. Because I accidentally hit the stop button instead of the record button. My bad. So, um, this injury, yeah. So, um, yeah, they're like, yeah, don't accept any, uh, if they offer you anything else, don't accept it because we're not paying for it. Blah, blah, blah. So they ought, like, the doctor comes in, Dr. Dipshit, um, or maybe I'll just call him Dr. Dingus because maybe he wasn't just that negligent. Maybe he was just really stupid. I don't know. Um, so, hey, what's up, dude? I don't know why you feel offended. Is it because he beat you? Is that why he beat you just like Bob did? Just like I'm going to beat you in um, how many days? Six days for the Harvest King? That's right. That's going to be me, your boy, this time for damn sure. Because I have gotten so many people late in this town, I am going to be the king. But, um, yeah, as I was saying, um, yeah, so now we're going to go fishing. Like, literally, this is it. Like, this is the extent of our day now. We're going to get this thing eventually, folks. We're running out of shit to do. Um... So yeah, he comes in and he goes, yeah, your finger's really infected. And it's like, no shit, I could have told you that. So he offered me a round of antibiotics and um, uh, um, it, it was the first round of antibiotics, the first round of three. So I am put on uh, limited duty, which means I cannot work with my left hand, especially since I have to keep it clean. And working in garbage and filth is the exact opposite of clean. So, there's that. So, now they're just like, yeah, but you could still, you know, fill up a trailer with, you know, with, you know, dear Mertz, 
You know, you could still fill up a trailer with, you know, 16 garbage cans with one arm, can't you? You can still offload them all that way with one arm, can't you? You can still do all this, can't you? Even though some of them are going to be full and thus really heavy. You could do all that, no problem. It's like, yeah, sure, no problem, even though I was told not to by your doctor, but that's okay because this company doesn't exactly like to follow medical procedures. I'm not the first person they've done that shit to either. They've done that to so many other people, but I can't speak for them. This is only my experience with them. Screw that shit. So, um, yeah, so, like, the first round of infection goes by. Uh, I have the next appointment, like, a uh, week and a half later. My, per, my antibiotics, they've run out. They've done their course. I go to the, the appointment, still infected. Still not getting an x-ray taken. And then... He gives me a second round of antibiotics. It does the trick. The swelling goes down. The infection goes away. But there's still that very obvious, noticeable bump in my finger, folks. And here's the thing. Like, now when I had to go get the second order of prescription, I had to go on my day off to this place, which was an hour and a half away. That is bullshit at its finest. But this is what I had to deal with with this fucking company because they're incompetent as hell and they're horrible to work for. But, uh, yeah, the third round of antibiotics I had because there were a lot of people that started having some thoughts like maybe you might have some, some glass in your finger still. So I went to the doctor after the third round of antibiotics or after the next, round of, the next round of antibiotics and I'm like, hey, can we have an x-ray please? And he goes, yeah, sure, no problem, we'll take an x-ray, I have 89 grand, holy shit, so, holy crap, dude, you're gonna, you might have $100,000 by the time this f horse race comes up, so let you know that, we're gonna do good, we're cleaning house, that's what that means, we're gonna go broke doing it, but we are cleaning house. But I will tell you the results of those x-rays in the next episode, everybody. So thank you so much for joining me. Don't forget to join the Bomb Squad. Like, share, and subscribe. Don't forget to leave me a comment below and let me know how I'm doing. And we'll see you in the next episode when I talk about the results of that x-ray. And we're going to continue dominating. And hopefully we'll see a marriage sometime soon. I don't know. Will we get that power, Barry? I hope so. And that's literally it. See you next time. Until then, everybody, y'all stay classy. Yeah.